What is up everybody, it's RC, and today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. Uh, so, I know that I've said before in my videos that I've been following the Comicsgate campaigns on Indiegogo and their creators. And this is one of the campaigns that I decided that I would want to sort of get involved with and want to support. So this is a campaign by a creator named Eric Weathers. It is Flying Fortress. And, well, I'll, I'll pretty much tell you exactly what the story is here because I'm going to read from the Indiegogo page. As of the time of this recording, this page is still up. The campaign has ended, but it is still funding through in demand. So... Let's take a look at that, and we'll see where we go from there. So, Flying Fortress is about a B-17 crew on a mission to bomb Hitler, and it's shot down and it crash lands in a medieval world. And, I gotta say, I really like how this art looks. It looks like it's something that is very, um... I don't want to say grimy because that would seem like it would be insulting, but it it has like a grittiness to it while still seeming like it's a like a comic book because it is a comic book. And like as you can see here, this one is shipping now. And another thing that I sort of forgot to mention a little bit earlier: the reason this is saying battle damaged is because these are copies that sort of they maybe had some like dings or scratches on them so whenever it comes to actually opening my package we'll see how how that looks um going to see what else there is all right so you can get this here for the discounted price it'll be actually only back this like a a week or two weeks ago so it's pretty fast shipping I must say and then you can also have the option for these two add-ons uh, looks like there's still 298 head sketches that you can get and I don't know hmm that's strange because I had bought the extras and it's saying the zero were claimed interesting our loss is your gain get in on your last chance to own a copy of the first print run of Flying Fortress Remastered. And there they just go into the um, the reason why it's a battle damage copy. So, yeah. Check this out. Um, I'm going to be showing what I got right here, right now. So, just going to show a little bit more of the art here. There you go. That's, I think that's the main cover. And then there's all the add-ons that you can get as well. And then there's some of the other posters that they have. And examples of the art from the inside. And, yeah, here's a little description of the, the team behind Flying Fortress. So, it was, it was created and written and self-published between 2011 and 2017. The art and writing were by Eric Weathers and Andy Moore. I can't really say that I've heard of Andy Moore before, but I might have. Um, I just know of Eric Weathers because I've seen some of his live streams. Good stuff. And looks like they got some help with the initial couple of issues by Andrew Walker. I didn't. I don't know that guy. Eric Weathers has helped to bring to life many indie comics, including Jawbreakers. Ah, your boy Zach. Graveyard Shift, John Malin. Um, other ones, Cyberfrog and The Expendables. Cyberfrog is obviously Ethan Van Skyver stuff, and The Expendables is another one, another book from your boy Zach, which he actually worked on with, um, I'm blanking on it, but he had some help by um, Sylvester Stallone, so that's cool. Um, but... Let's get into the actual unboxing. Now that I've given you the background of 
what we're going to be looking at today. So we got the Gemini Mailer here, and just like with the Cyber Frog comics that I got from Ethan Vinskyver's eBay page, I'm going to have to be very careful with this one because I don't want to be cutting anything that I shouldn't be cutting. <laughs> And like I learned from last time, I'm not going to be showing where it, the side where the address is because I do not want to be having that sort of fiasco going on. And just being careful so I'm not cutting anything that I shouldn't be cutting or cutting myself because that would be bad. Especially with this thing. Exacto knives are a pain. But they help out a lot. What am I doing? Oh, come on. I will say one thing. It is packaged very securely. Alright. Careful. There you go. And one on the other side. There we go. Alright. Now it's open. Let's take a look at this. Alright. So I have this stuff open. And there we go. There's Flying Fortress. Alrighty. Comes in a little comic baggie. I'm not sure if this is like they have a specific size for this size of book. Because it seems like it's larger than. Give me a second, because I have my co other comics right over here. Oi. Oh, my goodness. All right. So here's a comparison with Cyber Frog. This is... This one's got to be a bigger mailer. Definitely. All right. Lord, reach for it. There you go. Okay. So let's take this out and let's see what we've got in here. Much like with Cyberfrog, I'm gonna be keeping this in a in a bag. In the bag they came in. So let's put that right there. This is a little trading card. of a character named Hare Kimble, Kindle. I'm going to assume that he's probably one of the characters in the book. Well, otherwise, why would it be included? Um, yeah. Cool little guy. Alright, come on. Trying to do this with one hand is a pain. There's the back. Alright, looks like he's one of the villains, so I'm sure we're going to be introduced to him in the book as well. Uh, da, da, da. I'll get into reading the book just like I did with the Cyber Frog campaign after I get through the unboxing, because there are the add-ons, which I'm going to be getting into. And I'll be showing each one of, you, each one of them to you guys, so that will be fun. Let's... Toss the junk over there. Well, the shipper. Alrighty. So, before I get into that one, this one, again, the add-ons come in a, come bagged and boarded. Um, probably just for security reasons, because you wouldn't want these sliding around and getting damaged, because, well, then you wouldn't really have any good happy backers um, we have how many give me a second I'm just gonna check on the add-ons part of their um, Indiegogo page alrighty so the addition the add-ons have six 4 by 6 postcards three 11 by 17 posters two trading cards I wonder where the second one is um, one bomber patch and one 2 by 9 bookmark so I believe that this is probably going to be the 
three eleven by seventeen posters. Yep, it whoa. It's definitely looking like it. Alrighty. So we have the first one which I need to get open. Alrighty, that looks epic. So you have whoa. I need to back up for this one. You have that, which It's pretty much shot like it's from the inside of the Flying Fortress itself. You can see the plane up there and all these um, bullet casings. I don't. I'm not the gun guy, so you got all those flying around and looks like they're in the heat of battle and stuff. So it's one down. And then we got the. The 11 by 17 of the cover. There you go. Both of these look like they're in very good condition as well. Very securely packaged. And something I'm really going to like because, as you can tell from my speed paints from before I rebooted the channel, I like pinups. So, get a load of that. Now, I'm going to openly admit that I have no idea if this character plays any part in the story. But, if she does, I'll just be adding that added bonus. So, 311 by 17 is down. Let's take a look at the... What, what, what else do we have? Six 4 by 6 postcards. This is going to be easier. Come on. There you go. Alrighty. Yeah, much like with the last poster, I'm gonna like these ones. Got Darlin' Dora there. Gonna need to go in with a... Thought I heard a fly going around here. Got Darlin' Dorothy. Gonna get out the southern drawl with that one, which... Eric Weathers is actually going uh, working on a another Indiegogo campaign called um, what is it? Battle Brick Road. That one looks like it's going to be a pretty awesome book. I think it's a one of four parter. So maybe that maybe this Darling Dorothy has something to do with that one. I mean, it has the name Dorothy in it, so maybe um, Thunderstruck. Wish I was playing an ACDC song. Uh, da, da, da. Got Lady Luck. <laughs> this one looks like she's in like a suit of armor. You got Leth Lethal Lilith. That sounds like a, a tongue twister. Um. Uh, oh, this one has some art by Kyung Lee. He's the guy who did um, Battle Maiden Knuckle Bomb. So he's actually on his second Indiegogo campaign for that. So that is postcard by him. And then there's the postcard for the um, Rawhide Rosie. Alright, I'm just going to need to dump this out a little bit. Bookmark. Flying Fortress. For some reason, I really like how these planes look. They just have like a, a very rustic look to them. Six four by six, two trading cards, one bomber patch. What is this one? Alrighty. All right, so got a little flying fortress sticker, which I would imagine if you wanted to put it on like a laptop case or something like that, you could do that. 
you have a how, okay flying fortress patch which if I had an article of clothing where I could actually sew it onto something I would do that mm, my goodness excuse me I actually just finished dinner so that's why I've been holding that in for a while and then ooh hoo hoo <laughs> this is gonna be interesting given the whole like situation going on with the lockdown and stuff he got the plague soldier <laughs> alrighty I always liked how uh, how plague doctors look, and having that sort of combination in there is a very interesting design, I must say. So, what I'm gonna do, since this is a longer book, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to sort of like skim through it. See what the art looks like on the inside. See, um, see what I can make of the book. See if it's going to be something that I don't know. I don't know. Just I'm just going to see if it looks like what how it's presented. If it looks epic, or if it's going to be like, eh, maybe not my type. I'm thinking it's probably going to be epic. So, give me one second. Alrighty, everybody. So. After taking a little bit of time to go through and sort of see what the book is about, I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. So, it certainly doesn't shy away from blood and gore and stuff. Um, I mean, it's <laughs> set during a war, so I would hardly expect it to shy away from that sort of stuff. But it... Honestly, I just remembered that this was actually supposed to be battle damaged. I'm not... Really? <laughs> okay. That little bit there. If that little bit is what you call battle damage, my goodness... If you are a fan of any of Eric Weathers' work, or any of his work on anything else, pick up this book. Get it on Indiegogo while you can, because if <laughs> if you're going to call this little itty-bitty thing battle damaged, you're going to steal. <laughs> Overall, I can say I love the art. I like where the story goes and where it seems to be going from whenever I stopped reading it to film this part. Um, if you're going to get the book, I would say shell out the extra money and get the add-ons. They're really good, too. Um, certainly going to be a good addition to my wall of comic posters and comic or superhero stuff or anything like that. I'm going to pretty much have a whole entire art wall whenever all the stuff that I've backed comes in. Um, yeah. Check out the campaign. Get the book. It's already shipping out, so you're not going to have to wait long for it. It's going to be very worthwhile. If you're someone who likes war stories or comics that are set during a war, this one is for you. Because even though it says that um, it's a bomber that's shot down and lands in a medieval age, it has those same elements of war to it. And it's a really cool premise. Like I've already said probably multiple times throughout this video, Check this out, get it, support Eric Weathers in both this campaign and in um, Battle Brick Road. Um, yeah, just keep following these guys. They put out quality content and they, they don't disappoint. They're going to make sure that you get your money's worth and... 
sometimes more than your money's worth, like this. It's fantastic. Check it out. Like I said for probably the tenth time. <laughs> but yeah. Have you already gotten it? Have you... Do you have your own thoughts on it? Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Are there any other sort of Indiegogo campaigns that um, you have found or you have, I don't know, checked out and have enjoyed? Let me know down in the comments as well. Um, I'm going to be dropping a link to this campaign page uh, down in the um down in the description so if you want to check it out you'll have easy access to do so um yeah if you enjoyed the video leave a like like i've already said leave a comment with what your thoughts are on it or if you enjoyed the video let me know if you want to keep up to date with the channel and pretty much see any of these other magnificent books that i'm going to be getting Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications to stay up to date with everything going on with the channel, everything that I'm getting. And yeah, as always, I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.